And here we go with the final ref show of 2014. And we're in the company of three old friends, diving, grappling, and handball controversies. Let's hope we can kick at least one of those out in 2015. Jose Mourinho actually is claiming there's a, a campaign uh, against Chelsea. Uh, he's referring to two incidents uh, over Christmas, but actually there were diving incidents before that in, involving Chelsea. Boxing Day, just to remind everybody, Chelsea against West Ham. We think, uh, Jock thinks, our ex are convinced that Ivanovic dives. There's no yellow card, but quite correctly, Michael Oliver doesn't give a penalty, and the referee's well in that game. And then a couple of days later, we have Fabregas sh should have won a penalty, but it's not given, and he gets caution for diving. So sort that one out, Jock. Well, I think it's it, it's crucial for all referees to prepare properly for the game and understand the players that they're going to referee. Um, and I think Anthony Taylor has done that, but you have to deal with each incident on its merits. And he hasn't done that with the Fabregas situation. So let's be quite clear, that was a penalty kick. Um, it wasn't a die and Fabregas should not have been cautioned. So there's a whole issue about retrospective uh, rescinding of yellow cards that are incorrectly given, uh, such as that. But it is a little bit ironic that Mourinho has almost been hoist by his own petard in that Cahill does a triple salco, Ivanovic goes down like a sack of potatoes, um, and then he cries foul because he doesn't get a penalty when a referee perceives that his team are diving. You know, he can't have it both ways. Mm. Well, let's go to Newcastle 3, Everton 2. Exciting game. That was refereed by uh, Craig Pawson. There was nothing really contentious at all, at all in this, but apart from uh, mm. Papa Cisse uh, smashing an elbow at a corner kick into uh, Seamus Coleman uh, of Everton, nothing evidently was seen or, or given there. No, and you know I think uh, the FA and the PGMO do uh, they do play catch up eventually, and I like to think that we are setting the agenda on a number of topics, uh, and there will be a lot more of that in 2015 to come. But um, we, since the World Cup, have advocated a clampdown on grappling, and I'm delighted to hear that um, PGMO finally decided in the new year to um, issue some new guidance to clubs. But it's only come six months into the season. Why did we not do this back at the start? Now, I like to think that we, we have led the way on that and uh, they finally responded, but they need to be thinking ahead. If we can do it, if we can see it from where we are sat, they need to be thinking about that. Uh, and that's really what Howard Webb's role should be all about. Can we just come on to Sunderland and Hull? Hull winning 3-1. That was, again, going back to Boxing Day. Andre Mariner was the referee. Two penalty claims for handballs turned down there. Very harsh on Sunderland. Uh, I, I, I just worry about Andre um, this season because I, I watched him uh, in the Man City-Everton game uh, when we took a, a bunch of delegates from Nigeria uh, to the match to watch him live. And he's... He's got all the body language is saying that he's either uninterested or he's untouchable. It's one of the two things. Now, he can't have it. He's got to stand up and get involved in the game and make, make the big calls. And they were big calls, and, and he, he's not got them right. But I, I've got to be honest with you, Jock, and I, I hear what you're saying about, you know, decisions, and they can affect a game. But... Let me, and I'm still yet to see. At the end of the season, the teams that have got relegated have deserved to get relegated, by and large. There's not one decision that's relegated them. And the teams that have deserved to win the league or qualify the Champions League have qualified. And, you know, what used to be said is, OK, you're going to get some decisions that are going to get, go against you during the season. Mm. And you're going to get some decisions that go for you. Jock, uh, plenty more of exciting developments to look forward to it. You are the ref. Yeah, um, uh, we've come a hell of a long way in a very, very short space of time. Um, but the site is um, absolutely uh, bubbling away with interest from people around the world. Um, and that has led us to a, a great deal of opportunities that will unfold from January onwards. So I'll be delighted to make those announcements when the time comes in 2015. Thank you, Jock. Thank you to Carlton. Let's just close with a picture that says so much this is a referee lost in a blizzard on Boxing Day. Bye.